Hello, welcome to Card Mind. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Sagittarius money and career weekly reading from May 16th to the 22nd, 2022. Sagittarius, let's see what energies are in store this week. What are you building? What are you deciding? What are you pushing forward? What are you letting go? Sagittarius. King of Cups. You, Whatever you're deciding or whatever you are desiring or wanting to do, want that job you want, that promotion you want, you're very emotionally stable. You, you have... Uh, found a certain balance in your way of deciding, maneuvering, how you're going to do this, how you're pushing forward. Because if there are conflicts, five of swords, nine of wands, that um, protective mode, um, you got this, you are in control um, whatever comes forward, whatever the situation is, ego situation, it seems like there's ego situations going on here, can be in a job, in a project, with co-workers, whatever the situation is, you are persevering, nine of, <coughs> nine of wands, but there's sort of that tension where you feel you, that you need to prove yourself constantly over and over again, that this situation here can be in, in the job, right? But you're remaining calm. You're remaining balanced. You are hearing what people have to say. You are hearing what the situation is all about. Uh, figuring things out, wanting to know the truth, wanting to know exactly what the, what is going on here before you uh, make any type of decision. All right, a lot of cards here. Okay, all right, I will take these. Oh, and more. Wow, wow, Sagittarius. Okay, so here we are with the three of uh, swords. Not to worry, uh, other cards are coming out that are fantastic, but let's just address this issue that's bothering you, that's hurting you. So it might be a situation in your job. It might be a situation in a workforce. It feels like a workforce. It feels like colleagues that, you know, are constantly um, five of swords, constantly that competition, that ego power, competing against each other, competing even within, it feels like even within, um, a, on a same team, right? So it, it might be a job that's a little stressful with a lot of competition involved, but in the team also, you feel like you have to protect your space, that you have to prove yourself, prove to the others that you are above this, above and beyond, and just move forward. And you have been hurt by the situation, right? But here we are in a new dynamic. I feel like, am I taking these first? Okay. I feel like I have, look at this. You have two aces, Sagittarius, two aces, ace of swords, ace of cups. It's a new direction. You are thinking differently. Now, it doesn't have to be a new job, although aces are usually a new job, but I feel like you are thinking differently. Whatever situation here is that is going on here is pushing you to think differently, to go in a different direction, to find that new idea to understand that your job is no longer competing with these people. It is over in another sector, on another team, working in different ways. In other words, your dynamic here no longer belongs to you. This week, you're moving on to something else. So maybe you're moving on to work on another project within the same company. It doesn't have to be somewhere different, right? 
but maybe you're transferring transferring to different sector or transferring to it on a different project you are moving into something much more fulfilling connecting this time with the people you work with enjoying the new project enjoying the new ways of working and the different types of um a mental and intellectual energies, different knowledge, knowledge this time, experience this time. I feel like you're rising up to a different level. This has been a lesson that projected you onto a whole new different type of job with more experienced people and more understanding of the sector, whatever the sector is. But it's, it's, it's thinking differently. And now you're finding really pure joy in connecting with these new people, job, project, take it as it resonates, growing and um, enjoying now your job and this is a growing period after a difficult period of competition of ego battles right probably maybe you moved sectors maybe you just moved to work with different people and couldn't deal with these ego people here right that were judging you and and asking you to prove yourself now you're moving on to something completely different that is really bringing you joy and happiness and fulfillment. Ace of Cups is really that pure connection, that pure joy in a job, like fully and authentically able to express yourself. I feel like here you couldn't express yourself. So if you had responsibilities uh, within a job, uh, within a post, within a project, or if you had if it was a creative project and ideas, ideas to put on the table, plan out, strategize within a job, you feel like you didn't have your place there. And people, it's not that people didn't trust you, it's that people wouldn't hear you, wouldn't hear what you had to say and maybe wouldn't follow your instructions if you had a leadership role or if you had, um, I say had because you're moving on, or if you had um, responsibilities and uh, people didn't trust you or didn't believe you, or it was just constant battle. I just feel like that constant day-to-day -day battle at work with nonsense. And here you are moving on to something so much more calm. It's the calm after the battle, the calm after the conflict, conflictual situations, permitting you, allowing you to enter a growth period, trusting yourself now and enjoying the ride, really enjoying this new start, this new um, also mental, new intellectual drive that you have in this new job i really feel like it's new and you're growing you probably are having more responsibilities maybe you got a promotion maybe you got a promotion to another you know on another project in another um uh service whatever it means for you it is really that growth period and now you have a, a complete understanding of the situation um really on a higher level. You have a higher perspective of this whole thing. You're taking a step back. You have a huge um, weight off of your shoulders because you, 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 it, you're in a different structure. And the understanding of this new structure is bringing you um, that new passion back, that new drive, wanting to do more, wanting to experience more, and wanting to take on more responsibility in this new way. It's a different way. It's a more structured way, but it's a different way of thinking. You are working with different people this time. And uh, it might be a little more conventional, right? It might be a little more conservative way. 
doesn't have to be, but um, I think that you are very happy to um, be now in a situation that's more secure, more structured, even maybe going back maybe to another team or being back to a, a people you were used to work with that you really enjoyed or back to people that actually know what they're doing, right? That have a, no, a really good knowledge of the situation uh, as opposed to here where they didn't really know what, what they were talking about, right? In your mind, in your mind. And so here's a brand new beginning here giving you wings i like this queen of wands she is passionate she is in control she is um a, a real entrepreneur that knows how to turn ideas into reality so your structure you're in a much more structured way uh it, a much more structured um uh entity maybe that's it and uh, with a, a thorough understanding of the situation now. And here we are. That is complete with the, the Seven of Swords connecting with the conflicts, the egos, the situation that hurt you, that were hurtful, that were hurtful. And you might have gotten out of that job. And it can be a new job. It can be a new job. Doesn't have to be. I feel like it's just a new, but it, it, it's a new way. It's a new structure. Right, and um, it happens. There are conflicts in the job, day to day routine with ego situations. That is a given. There's always some ego going on, right? Um, and and you felt like you can trust those people, or that person, or that entity. Yes, yes, the devil. So it's still in your mind. Sagittarius, it's still in your mind. You don't want to go back there. You don't want to repeat those patterns. You don't want to repeat those unhealthy patterns where you're in a structure where people don't get you, don't understand you, or don't listen to you when you feel like you don't have your say in the matter, even if you have responsibilities, even if you have a a, a job or, you know, with um, um, a um, a leadership role or direction role, right? You felt like you were back into that pattern, that toxic pattern where maybe you had a good salary. Maybe it was a good job in itself, right? The responsibilities and the job in itself, the, the, um, uh, the nature of the job was interesting that you, right? But the people, the surroundings were toxic. And I say were because you're entering a new cycle. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords. Much more fulfilling and really with a different mental dynamic. And um, a, But you still have the reminiscence of, or you're going through this. You might be going through this right now. But just know that this new structure is for you, permitting you to grow within the job, to grow within the company, the business, the project, uh, however it resonates for you. Try not to go to that, um, back to that devil situation yeah, two of cups. I feel like you're really connecting with these new people. And try not to go back in your mind in the toxic situation because I feel like that's you you you're still dragging or if you're in the middle of this this week, just know that you know, don't drag too much as you open up to this new cycle, new job, new um dynamic. Um, because the, you know, the devil is that, that energy tricking you to think that no matter what, it's going to be toxic and it, it's something you can't really get out of. Now, maybe it was a great job. Maybe you had a good salary. Maybe you, you know, like I, I was saying, and let me, I would just want to finish that thought. Maybe, you know, but, um, the, the, the environment, and the structure 
was toxic on a day-to-day -day basis with the people, with the choices, with the responsibilities, with who says what, where, who is responsible for what. And I feel like you were frustrated with the um, uncomprehension, right? Not understanding the, the people, not understanding your point of view and not understanding your um, directions and not respecting you for your, um, your powers and not respecting your powers and not respecting what your responsibilities within the job. Interesting. So, you know, the devil is just, just try to let go that, that, fishbowl cycle where we feel, you know, we're not in the right place or, you know, we don't have control over our choices. We don't have control. Sometimes, of course, within a job, if it's not our own entity, obviously we don't all, we don't always have choices and we don't have um, always control over our decisions. And some, sometimes people overrule our decisions and it's not up to us to change things and we don't have the power of that right we don't have the power of the last word so just know that now you're breaking free of that of that type of situation and that right now even if it's difficult right my heart goes out to you if this is a difficult situation you're powering through something completely different much more structured and maybe you want something structured maybe this didn't correspond to you when you want to uh, start something completely different in a more structured way, right? And so you're moving in to something, you know, um, people that are, are um, um, helping you, guiding you, but um, people that um, have your back, right? And that um, um, trust you, in your, um, in what you're bringing, trust what you're bringing to the table, right? And just so here with this devil, see it as an opportunity to let go of those negative influences, to let go of those deep, you know, those tendency to um, go back to that, those toxic illusions, right? That we feel like we have no control or we can't break free or people are not listening, right? Just free your, try to free yourself from their hold, right? And, and that from those patterns and, you know, it takes, to, it takes strength, it strength it, and it takes willpower. And maybe you were, had a good salary. Maybe this was a good job. And maybe you were bound by a contract, right? A good contract. And you had to negotiate out or negotiate out of that contract. And that is always difficult, right? So um, protect your boundaries and protect, you know, who you are and follow the intuition that you have because you're entering a beautiful, beautiful, different, different cycle, different way of thinking, different approach of the job. Interesting. All right. Let's see if there are um, a few more uh, cards that want to come out. Sagittarius. Just know that this is a growth period and that you might even get a, I don't know if it's a promotion, but you're 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 um opening up to the world you're opening up to new and you're learning new you're learning new experiences and you're getting more experience along the way yes yes so here we have the tower not surprising i'm going to put it right here yes you are aware whatever triggered whatever situation happened here and this devil here you are aware of the situation. You got the truth. And if you didn't get the truth, if you didn't know exactly what happened, if you're waiting for answers and you don't get the exact answer and you don't get clarity on it, that's okay. Move on into your new energies. Try to let it go because sometimes we don't get the answers. As long as you are clear in what you're pushing for it, as long as you can put words on your new path, on how you're building, what you're bringing to the table, and how you're going to make it happen, 
You don't have to drag on other people's energies. You don't have to drag on the negative energies that are happening within a job, ego-centric situations that don't belong to you. Moving on to something else, moving on somewhere else where you belong, where you truly connect. You have a true soul connection to this new entity, to this new job, project, business, whatever it is. So try not to carry too much because now, because now you are an understanding and you are aware. There's that trigger moment, that tower moment where you realize, okay, that's enough. Time to change out of here, out of here, moving on to something else for your good, for your mental. And that's why careful not and negotiate out or... Or leaving, um, I know it's not easy. I know nothing is easy. I know everybody is having, you know, difficult times and it's difficult situations coming back in the work workforce, coming back into jobs, coming back into projects and finding that passion again and finding that energies to move forward, to create things, to believe in ourselves again and just find that creative power again. Whatever it is that it represents for you, it's hard. It's hard to come back in. It's hard to come back in with the world situation and after the world situation, right? To find that enthusiasm and that ambition and that dynamic again. It's really difficult. But here you are rebuilding. Here you are moving into something completely different and happy, enjoying, celebrating Sagittarius, celebrating with these new people, enjoying these new colleagues, enjoying a new team, just overall happy with this new job, happy with this new situation. This is bringing you um, a beautiful um, serenity and contentment and happiness in your life, calming everything down, bringing everything down back to your perspective, your dynamic, and everything is, after the tower moment, everything becomes much more calm, much more serene because you're in the right path and you're able to acknowledge where you stand on this path and that you are in the right place and that you are making a difference in your job, in your community, and that you are strong and have something to bring to the table and that you, you know, you are essential. Everyone is essential. All right, more, more, more. Yes, everyone is essential. So we're back with the King of Cups, bringing that balance, staying calm, listening to what people have to say, bringing in the information and making your decision. You are working very hard and you're very good at what you do. You're very talented, Sagittarius. People come to you and I think that you were just maybe in the wrong job, in the wrong place. And that happens many a time. It has happened to me where I knew it was for me. I was sure it was for me. Uh, it had all the descriptive, you know, the, the information, everything seemed to be perfect for me for the job. And when I got there, it was not possible, right? It seemed so interesting and uh, and, and then when I started the job, I just didn't connect with the people and it was impossible, impossible. So it does happen, even if you're very uh, talented in what you do, if you're just run in the wrong place with the wrong dynamic, no matter how you move things around, it is very, very toxic. And it is a moment where you have to understand to plan to get out, to plan to move on to another job, to start searching for another job and moving on to a different path. And you are very focused, you know now what your perspective is and you're moving into this new job and you're happy, you're celebrating this harmony now, this mental mental clarity and now this emotional harmony and serenity bringing you back down to that. That is wonderful. And look at this. I'm going to put this right on top of the tower just so you understand the, the contradiction that life can be all about and the contradictions that energies can bring all about. The tower becomes the sun. There we go. Because your dynamic has changed. Once you move past this and once you move on to this new job new entity new project new business take it as it resonates new new adventure right because you have two aces you're growing into this new dynamic and then you have the sun which is pure happiness 
optimism. Is everything perfect? No, but the sun radiates. You are so connected to this new job, happy with this new job, um, uh, enjoying the um, dynamic you have within your office, within your colleagues, with the team, call it as it resonates. And that, that you are projecting a positive attitude, a projecting like a solar, you know, optimism. And the sun is about that. Yes, it brings in abundance. It brings in positivity. It brings in, you know, success. And I really feel success in this new opportunity, this new path. But it also gives you strength. And it gives you strength after the difficult times, understanding that no matter what, well, no matter what you do, this positive energy is going to follow you. This positive energy is there and you are bringing joy. You are seeing the bright side now. You are bringing warmth to people's lives. And this warm energy is helping you succeed, radiating who you are, radiating what you stand for. Now you can express yourself. Now it's about you, your power, your logic, your truth. You can honestly and truly express yourself. And, and, sure and, and and show love to the people around you but also who the people you care about right and and I think that you have discovered through these challenges along the path you were on uh, who you are what your purpose is all about and now you're full of energy full of energy pushing forward persevering to success and your confidence is up. You're boosting your morale because everything is working out. Everything is moving in the right direction. That's what the sun is all about. No ego power. No ego power. No ego fights. Right? No fear. It's not fear-driven, ego-driven, conflict-driven. Right? Some people just thrive on conflict and ego nonsense uh, right but you this time it's not it's not about ego and and you are just pushing forward in a beautiful beautiful positive energy wonderful reading getting out of the negative pushing into the positive finding your spot finding your spot shining your light Sagittarius good for you Good for you. Shining your, li your light after that darkness. And we pull through. You know, there are, there are jobs that are just, you know, conflictual. And all you need is one person with an, you know, um, ego bigger than God, right? And then, you know, that is when things can go away. And if you don't believe in that or if you don't follow them or if you don't, you know, connect with those energies, it, it can be very difficult. And that is when you have to search for the new path. Yes, justice. There we go. Perfect. Justice. You are where you belong. You are in the right place. You're finding truth in the matter, truth and honesty and integrity where you are. You are in control now of the situation where you are now. This is new new to you. You're just with honest people, right? You have made the decision. Justice is about making a long-term decision. It's a, an important choice you made, an important choice you made with, you know, the potential long-term impact. But this is really something that has um, opened up your... Um, integrity but also open up your purpose understanding your purpose and um and you you dug deep to figure that out and to shift those energies and choose to go somewhere else a very interesting reading Sagittarius. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Thank you so much for watching. Um, all signs are up for monthly readings, monthly money and career readings, if you're interested in taking a look at those. 
And um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Oh, and in those monthly readings, there's a potential um, possibility to get a free reading. If you're interested in that, all you have to do is share your journey along the way and subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Thank you so much for watching Sagittarius. Take care. Have a great week. Bye-bye.